doing so good welcome back to another pick a card reading so today's reading is how do they feel about you you could be asking for platonic or romantic um but yes so how do they feel about you okay and we have three groups for you to choose from we have group one the amethyst crystal group two the clear quartz cluster crystal and group three the rose quartz crystal okay so group one, group two, and group three. So if you want to pause the video to choose your group, feel free, but I shall see you in your readings. Hey, if you chose the first group, then this reading could be for you. So the person on your mind, how are they feeling about you? What are their feelings towards you? Okay, so the first card is Four of Swords reversed. And that Two of Cups wanted to come out. Two of Cups reversed. Then we have the Knight of Swords upright, and we also have the Two of Wands upright. Okay, so what are their feelings for you at this moment? Okay, so they may feel as though they need time away from you, maybe for them to think. This does not feel like a significant time away. For some of you, this maybe feels like time away that they've already had. Um, but they could also feel as though you need time away from them or you need or needed time to think this could be this could be in regards to family um or leaving something behind maybe they needed to think about family or you needed you needed to think about family or they needed to think about leaving something behind or leaving someone behind or you did and you know this thing or this person it feels like something that's been a big part of their life or your life for a while but it kind of just feels like this person feels Either you need to think certain things through or they do. For some of you, this could be in regards to your families or their family. Uh, maybe some form of acceptance or, you know, blending families. Or kind of, um, you know, getting together. Maybe even compatibility between families. So yeah, this person, they could feel as though you're isolating yourself. Um, some of you could be doing that to try and get back to yourself. And, you know, if that does resonate, resonate for you, they could actually realize that that's the reason for you keeping to yourself. So they could feel as though you are both avoiding something difficult in your connection, whether this be challenges or for some of you I'm hearing like a difficult conversation. For some of you, they, they could feel like they have been avoidant, maybe up until this point, but I do feel like this person wants to make some changes in regards to that, in regards to not avoiding something anymore or not avoiding, you know, a difficult conversation or, you know, whatever else they could have been avoiding when it comes to you. So, yeah, I definitely see that this person feels as though they even need to make changes. 
um, or, you know, that's just not something they want to do anymore by avoiding things. Because it's like this person has realised something needs to be confronted in order for you both to move forward. But they do feel as though your connection is an emotional one. They could feel as though you both have a strong emotional bond as well. But it's not grounded at this moment, you know, or maybe in the past it wasn't grounded. For some of you, they could also feel a fear of emotional vulnerability with you. Or they feel a fear of you being emotional, emotionally vulnerable with them. Or they could feel as though emotional vulnerability is difficult because of your situation together. Like maybe the circumstances at the moment, it, it's hard for you both to be emotionally um, available or vulnerable with each other. So they could also feel as though you both are not on the same page in regards to your feelings or in regards to your relationship. It, it It's almost like, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but like one person is more ready um, than the other. And this could be in terms of something serious or in terms of a serious commitment, if you're asking about um, a romantic connection. This person could have a fear of you both being codependent on one another. But for some of you, this person feels like you have a fear of being codependent on them or even being um, open or maybe even a little bit dependent on them, not even in a codependent way, perhaps. So yeah, this person could also feel as though they've disappointed you. So this person also feels like they shouldn't make any real plans for themselves or for the both of you until they, until you both are sure and certain about each other and maybe about what you want from each other as well. So for some of you, even either in the recent past or currently, they feel as though they need to pull their focus away from you and kind of focus on themselves for a little while, especially um, if this person has been feeling emotionally drained or you're aware that they've been feeling, um, you know, drained in some way. But for some of you, this could be something that's already happened where they feel like you've both had enough time away from each other for you both to focus on yourselves. And now this person is ready to, you know, see what it, it will look like for you both moving forward. So they could also feel unsure of what they want at the moment or they feel unsure of what you want at the moment in regards to this connection. Um, but what they are sure of though is that they do care about you a lot, they adore you, but they could feel as though um, they've lost you or that they're losing you. Especially if this person is committed to something or someone else, whether that be family or work or some other form of responsibility. Um, this person feels as though you either do make a great team or that you would make a great team together. This person also feels as though there's a lot of physical attraction and maybe, you know, chemistry between you both as well, if you are asking about a romantic connection. But they do um, recognise or they do feel as though there is an imbalance within your connection that needs to be worked on before you're able to kind of move forward with one another. So this person also feels... Okay, so this person could either feel as though you are confrontational or they feel that if they approach you, maybe in regards to a certain topic, or if they approach you at all, that you may be uh, confrontational to, towards them, or that you would be that way towards them. So yeah, this person, they could feel as though you are impulsive, or feel as though you have been impulsive in the past. And... You know, for some of you, if that resonates, your impulsivity could make this person feel um, quite nervous. 
this feels in a way as where you shocked them maybe even unintentionally you know So for some of you, this person does feel as though they need to rush towards you before someone else sweeps you off your feet or before your attention is, you know, kind of honed in on someone else, whether that be romantic or, you know, platonic. You know, for some of you, if this is a platonic connection that you're asking about, this person could have a fear that if they don't rush in or if they don't make moves towards you very quickly, that um you know your attention your focus will not be on them at all and they would have missed their chance with you so for some of you this person definitely feels um a sense of urgency when it comes to your connection for some of you though this person does feel as though you either do need a lot of attention or you would need a lot of attention from them well, I, I do have to say, even though they feel as though you could do without them. So it's like, it's like, you know, only take this if it resonates, but this person could feel like when it comes to them, you could take it or leave it. Not saying that they don't feel like you have genuine emotion or feelings towards them, but they feel like in regards to your independence, you know, um, you know, looking at the bigger picture, they feel like in, when it comes to your independence, they feel like you can take it or leave it when it comes to other people or when it comes to them, you know, and that you would be good basically with or without them. But they do feel as though that if they're on board when it comes to you, that you are someone that does deserve or need a lot of attention, you know, for whatever reasons. But though this person does feel as though you are needed in their life, um, this person, they feel like they need to be more forceful with you. They also feel like an important conversation between you both is needed as well. For some of you, though, this person could feel as though you're impulsive when you're talking. Maybe you say things or this person feels like you say things um, maybe in the heat of the moment, uh, maybe without thinking. For some of you, I'm getting it shocking. It, it's not really picking up as, you know, they feel hurt by it or anything like that. But this person finds your impulsivity sometimes, you know, shocking. Um, yeah, but this person could also feel as though they need to make some big changes before approaching you. Uh, for some of you, maybe they feel as though they've already made these big changes or something they're still currently trying to work on. For some of you, this person does feel like they still need to work on their healing. <clears throat> it's like for some of you, I don't know if you, you know, held up a mirror to this person and kind of showed them certain things that they need to work on. Um, and they feel as though... You know, they are still trying to heal those things that you may have reflected to them. But yeah, this person, they feel like they do need to make big changes. They feel as though they may need to wait before... Maybe they feel like they need to wait for the right moment or wait for the right opportunity to present itself when it comes to you and your connection. For some of you, this person could feel as though you're very smart and I'm hearing they feel as though you were right about something. Maybe in regards to um, indecision, someone not, you know, being sure of something or not being upfront. But yeah, this person, they feel as though you're very rebellious. Um, they could feel as though they can't get anything past you as well. They feel like you're a curious person, like your energy, it, it gives off, like that. it's not like this person is saying they feel like you're curious, even though that could, you know, be it for some of you, but they feel as though you as a person is, is very curious, you know, maybe complex. 
it's like this person feels like a person would need to study real hard to even remotely try to understand you you know and this is not in a bad way at all um, just in case it was coming out that way um but yeah but this person they feel as though you both or your connection needs a plan if you were or are to move forward together um they feel as though you've maybe both outgrown this current cycle within your connection and you know it's time for change like a change needs to happen for you both to move forward you know because you guys can't continue in this current cycle or the past cycle that you were in before so yeah this person they could also feel as though you have options in life and or romance for some of you this person is waiting for you to make up your mind or waiting for you to be sure about them or to be sure about something else that you're more aware of in your connection as well for some of you this person could also feel as though you left them hanging and that you're kind of focused on yourself at this moment For some of you, this person does feel as though you are levelling up or just working on yourself and, you know, growing in that way. So yeah, for some of you, this person feels as though you are growing in confidence. Um, yeah, for some of you, they feel as though you're believing in yourself a lot more. And maybe even the nine of pentacles kept like showing up when I was, you know, clarifying uh, certain things in my head for your reading. And the nine of pentacles kept showing up. For some of you, they do believe you're stepping into that nine of pentacles energy. Uh, independence you know self-focused and yeah they kind of just feel like you are stepping into a beautiful energy and that's why they kind of feel this with or without me energy when it comes to you at this moment it, it just feels like this person feels like maybe you're choosing your sh choosing yourself or you're choosing like what's best for your highest good you know, and maybe in regards to the other people involved in this situation too. So we also have here unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. What are their feelings towards you? For some of you, this person could feel as though you are worrying unnecessarily or that you worry unnecessarily in regards to certain things. This could be in regards to commitment, maybe even I'm hearing loyalty. And we also have unconventional. So it says your unique qualities are important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Yeah, so this person, they definitely feel or get this curious um, and like they feel like you're curious they feel like you're very different from other people they feel like you're unique they feel like you're unconventional they feel like you're you know awesome they feel like your unique qualities are what kind of sets you aside and what makes you you know top tier honestly This person could also feel as though you are healing at the moment. For some of you, they could feel as though you're trying to, you know, love yourself a bit more and especially love those unique and beautiful, quirky, um, you know, characteristics and qualities that you may have, whether it may be, you know, externally or in terms of your, your heart and your personality and stuff like that. For some of you, they could just feel like you're unconventional, maybe like you live an unconventional lifestyle or maybe in terms of your relationships, they're quite un unconventional or they feel as though your relationship together would be unconventional or it has been <laughs> unconventional up until this point. Let me 
see if, if it comes out again, it comes out again. All right, so yeah, this came out again. So it says, do not be frustrated, let go and feel peaceful. So what are their feelings towards you? So for some of you, this person feels as though they have stressed you out and that you are maybe trying to find your peace, you know, maybe in regards to them or just trying to find your peace in a general sense. So what are their feelings towards you? So we also have here live in the moment. So for some of you, this person feels as though they cannot rush you or they feel like they cannot rush your connection. They feel like they have, like they feel like they need to be the one to live in the moment with you. So for some of you, I'm hearing like this person may feel the need or they feel like they need to follow your lead. For some of you, this person could feel like you need to live in the moment more, especially where they're concerned. But I'm getting a different message that for some of you, they feel as though you help them live in the moment a bit more, maybe to feel a bit free. And this person, they also feel as though that you have what they're looking for. You know, they feel like you have the qualities they're looking for. So, for example, you're asking about the bo a boss. They feel like you have what it takes to be whatever, you know, in terms of your work or career, or whatever it may be. Um, if you're asking about a relationship, this person feels as though you have the qualities they need in terms of a partnership. And if you're asking about a friend, this person you know, feels like you have all the qualities they need, um, you know, for a friend. And yeah, what else? Last card, what are their feelings towards you, please? Okay, so we have his self-creation, be the author of your own life. Yeah, this person definitely feels like and we have the chariot. So this person feels like you have it, it, it could even be they feel like you have a lot of willpower. Or they feel like you're showing a lot of willpower at this moment. But for some of you, they feel like you're just determined in regards to taking control of your life or, you know, being the deciding factor in your life as well. So this person definitely feels as though you are taking charge right now, maybe in regards to your connection, maybe in regards to yourself, um, you know, separate from the connection you have with them. Yeah, but they definitely feel like you are taking the reins and you know just going for it when it comes to your personal life for some of you this person could feel as though you're self-made and the nine of pentacles came out again and the nine of pentacles i would actually you know resonate not resonate but like kind of synonymous to um being self-made in some way so yeah so this either person either feels like you're focused on yourself or this person feels like you are self-made I want to pull one one last card, okay? <laughs> what are their feelings towards you? And I'll cap it there. And we also have transformation. Yeah, so this person really, this person either feels like a transformation is needed in, needed in your connection or this person feels like you are transforming. This person feels like you are growing. And for some of you, this person feels as though, let me double check. This person could also feel as though you may reach a point where you do outgrow them, especially if you continue on the path that you are maybe on at this moment. All right. Um, but I hope that could resonate for you, though, for those of you who chose this group. I hope it could be helpful in some way. But I'm wishing you all the absolute best on your journeys. OK, so please take care of yourselves. Bye. Okay, group two, if you chose the second group, if you chose this here, clear quartz cluster crystal. Oh my gosh, such a tongue twister. Okay, <laughs> so the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel towards you, about the connection, or any information you can get that will be helpful or relevant today, all right? So what are their feelings towards you? OK, 
Okay, so what other feelings towards you, please? Ooh. All right, so we have the magician reversed. What are their feelings towards you, please? Ooh. Okay, so what are their feelings towards you, please? Okay, so we also have three of swords upright. Four of swords upright. And the eight of cups reversed, okay. Oh, okay, so for this group, can you just bear in mind that I'm not really sure where this energy is coming from, if it's more so on your side or their side, but I'm just going to say it, but feel free to like, you know, reverse certain messages if you feel like it will apply better that way, okay? Okay, so this person on your mind, they could feel like they've lied to you, perhaps about their feelings, they could feel as though you manipulated them or maybe for some of you maybe they manipulated you for some of you though they could feel as though you manipulated them to maybe work harder on something uh, maybe in regards to money or their career for some of you they feel like you manipulated them into becoming um either you ma manipulated them into becoming ambitious or you ma manipulated them to be ambitious in regards to something um, or maybe determined for some of you they could feel like you manipulated an argument or a confrontation they could also feel like they are untrustworthy they could feel i don't feel like they they think you see them as untrustworthy but they feel like they have been untrustworthy in regards to you and the connection between you both whether you are maybe aware of this um, at the moment or not aware of it so this person they could also feel as though your connection will become toxic if you were to continue on this current path that you both are on So they could also feel as though they tricked you in regards to something. For some of you, this could be in regards to a relationship maybe they had, maybe even in regards to your relationship to them, or maybe a relationship they had in the past. But I feel for some of you, it could be actually in regards to the relationship they have with you. They feel like maybe they tricked you. For some of you, they could just feel like they tricked you in like in terms of communication. For some of you, it's like maybe they told you they're not wearing a mask, they're not being manipulative when it turns out they actually were or that was their intentions. So for some of you, they could feel like they tricked you in regards to their intentions. It's like for some of you, they were saying one thing. It's like, for example, I'm telling you I'm not manipulative, I'm trustworthy, you know, I'm looking for long term commitment or, you know, whatever it is. And this person knew the whole time um, that they didn't actually, you know, feel that way or have those views. You know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be in regards to like romantic stuff. Um, but yeah, they could definitely feel as though they may have uh, tricked you, unfortunately. 
I don't know if any of you resonate with this person you're asking about being, you know, a bit narcissistic, you know, like I like and I never, ever say stuff like that in my readings, you know, because I don't really like to put a label on people, a bunch of people I don't know, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, for some of you, you could resonate with this person being a bit narcissistic or it just seems like this person is only thinking or concerned with themselves at this moment um you know whether it be in general or at this moment but yeah i do have to say that this person they do feel guilt about how they treated you or for what they did but for some of you they could also feel as though they're losing power over you or they've lost power over you Yeah, so for some of you, they could feel as though they're kind of losing their grip on you or control over you. If it resonates where it's the other way around, where they feel like um, you're, you're losing your control over them or they just don't feel as controlled by you. I don't really, you know, feel that for the majority of you. I do feel it's more so that this person feels like they're losing their grip or control over you. For some of you, this person kind of feels like they're losing, it feels like momentum to, it feels like momentum in regards to being able to control you in some way. It's like, I kind of just grew tired of trying to maybe manipulate a situation or manipulate an outcome. It's almost like they, they were trying to control you, but they couldn't keep it up. Or maybe they just literally couldn't. Or maybe for some of you, they kind of just realised it was a bit pointless. Or not something that they wanted to do or aligned with them, hopefully, you know. Um, but yeah. For some of you, this person feels as though you shouldn't trust them. Um, they could feel as though they weren't upfront or... For some of you, they could feel as though they weren't upfront or they neglected or abandoned a piece of themselves for you. But again, it could be the other way, if that makes more sense. For some of you, this whole feeling like they abandoned a part of themselves. For some of you, this is um, maybe the lie they feel like they've told you. Maybe they kind of feel like they've re um, presented to you a untrue version of themselves but whether or not they had the intention to do that um you know i feel it's going to be different for, for some of you for sure for some of you yeah this could be what they lied about kind of present in a different version of themselves for some of you, yeah, they could feel as though they broke your heart as well. Unfortunately, they feel as though you are experiencing a tough time. You know, if this resonates for you and aligns with your intuition, they could feel like your connection is being tested. For some of you, maybe they feel like you were testing them or that they were testing you. Hmm. But yeah, they could feel like they hurt you or broke your heart um, or they feel like you're... For some of you, they kind of just feel like you're in the process of healing of a, from a broken heart, if that is the case, you know, with that four of swords coming right after. So for some of you, they could feel as though they broke your heart, but they could also feel as though you're, exp um, you're uh, you know, you're healing or in the process of healing. For some of you, if this resonates, they could feel as though you both are depressed. If that doesn't make sense, they could feel as though you're depressed um, or maybe they feel as though they're depressed in regards to your connection or the situation. 
for some of you though they feel depressed not in reference to your connection but they do feel like um you know their low mood or their battle with depression is impacting your connection and this person could definitely feel lonely without you for some of you though this person does feel as though they effed up they feel like they messed up um they feel like they messed up big time actually they feel like they messed up especially in regards to their perception and how other people perceive them how you perceive them maybe but i feel like again i'm getting like a, a, a feeling of like a narcissist it's like oh shit you know i wanted everyone to see me in this way as you know all these positive things but shit the, the mask is slipping and people are starting to still see the real me you know so for some of you i really do get that energy from 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 this reading but obviously I'm not, you know, trying to put that narcissistic um, label on anyone, especially if it's not true. Um, but for some of you, yeah, they, they definitely feel like they messed up in terms of how other people are perceiving them. So this person that could actually feel like you see them as a bit narcissistic, maybe some of you have said that to them, um, or maybe for some of you, they recognise that they have been narcissistic or that they have been selfish in some ways and maybe even insecure because that's the thing with narcissistic people right they're they're deeply deeply insecure aren't they um so for some of you yeah they could recognize that they were insecure in some way or being selfish or just focusing on themselves you know um but yeah they do feel as though your connection is going through a big and difficult upheaval at the moment you know if this resonates this person could feel as though you're toxic they could feel as maybe you're not good for each other this person maybe feels like they were toxic to you if that makes more sense but, you know, I don't know, with the energy in this one, it could be, I don't know, you know, obviously, you know, your situation. But yeah, for some of you, they, they definitely feel as though maybe they were toxic to you or that the connection that you both have was just unhealthy or it didn't bring out the best in you both or maybe just in the recent past. But yeah, this person, they could also feel as though you're leaving them behind. So yeah, they could feel as though you both are or you both have been working on releasing the pain and maybe even blame in regards to your connection and that you're both overcoming feelings of betrayal or that you soon will overcome feelings of betrayal. For some of you, they could feel as though um, they need more space or you need more space or distance from each other or the connection in order for healing to take place with this four, four of swords being here they could feel like you're stressed out right now as well for some of you they kind of just feel like they stress you out or they feel like they're the source of your stress maybe they feel like you're they're the source of your um you know your anxiety But yeah, so they, they could also feel like you're trying to mediate or resolve a conflict. They could feel like you're just trying to, do you know when it's like you're really angry and it's like you could blow up, but I'm making the decision to like woosa right now. So for some of you, they definitely feel like you're in that energy. But for some of you, they kind of just feel like you're trying to mediate, maybe trying to be the peacekeeper in some situation or resolve a conflict. Maybe in regards to you both or a situation outside of your connection. So yeah, this person, they could also feel an urge to isolate. I don't feel like this could, I don't feel like this isn't like directly in regards to you. Like I feel like I need to isolate myself from you. But this person does feel like they need to isolate. 
they could also feel like they need a break from the chaos of your connection especially if your connection has been a bit up and down or chaotic in some way they feel like they need to break from it for some of you that maybe they even feel like you need a break from it as well for some of you this person could feel like they need counseling or they feel like you both need counseling maybe some sort of couples counseling um maybe you know separately or for some of you they feel like you guys need individual counseling but yeah, they definitely feel like you both need to take a time out so you both can regroup in some way. For some of you, this person feels like they will have a second chance with you or they feel like you would be open to giving them a second chance. For some of you, though, they feel like you want a second chance with them or... Um, for some of you, they, they feel like you want a second chance in regards to someone else. For some of you, this person feels as though your connection could end up being like a third party connection. They could have worries around it, surrounding that or they feel like if you continue the way it goes that it may end up being that way yeah so this person they could feel like you're stuck on them they could also feel um like they're stuck on you like i don't know if this is a mutual energy where you guys are kind of mirror mirroring each other um but for others of you this is just their perception and they kind of feel as though you are stuck on them and they feel like they're stuck on you and again, like, I'm not sure which direction this is coming from, but they could feel as though either you have a fear of abandonment or they do. They feel like there's no emotional security at the moment in your connection or there's a lack of emotional security in your connection. You know, if this resonates too, they could feel as though you're holding on to them. And they could also feel like there's a lack of self-love and maybe even healthy self-esteem, maybe on one or both sides in regards to your connection as well. Okay. So what are their feelings towards you? start with this one so we have here answered prayers all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support so for some of you this person could really feel as though you were an answer to their prayers or that you are an answer to their prayers but something happened there was a breakdown at some point For some of you, they could definitely still feel this way, where they do feel like you are a significant part of their life still. So we also have here spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally and energetically. For some of you, though, this person almost feels like they're waiting on a miracle. They're waiting for maybe God to answer their prayers or the universe, you know, whatever they believe in. Um, or they're kind of just waiting for things to work out between you both. So for some of you, this is something like they're hoping for, like I'm wishing on a star almost when it comes to our connection. Um, but yeah, anyways. For some of you, this person feels like you're protective or they feel like you're someone that they want to protect or someone they want to continue to protect. This person feels like they need to keep an eye on you. It's like, even if we're not in communication, I feel like... I still need to check up on you. So whether that means drive-bys or, you know, looking at your social media. But for some of you, this person feels like you are being protected by them. For some of you, this person could feel like, again, depending on your beliefs, like God, the universe is having a direct impact and say in your connection and for some of you this person feels as though you are being protected i don't know if it's from them 
but they feel as though you are protected. But for others of you though, this is simply that just them feeling as though they want to protect you or they feel this protective uh, energy for you, you know? And we also have sensitive emotions, times of heightened emotions and sen sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. So yeah, this person does feel like emotions between you both are heightened at the moment. They could feel like you're in a sensitive place right now or they feel like they're in a sensitive place right now. It could be a mutual feeling actually for both of you. There could be this feeling of loss as well with that Five of Cups coming out to clarify. So yeah, for some of you, this person feels like you're either focused on self-care or it's something that they need to focus on. For some of you, though, this person feels as though they need to work on being there for you more or being more sensitive to your needs. So we have here return to joy. So what are their feelings towards you? So yeah, this person, they feel like you're trying to find your happy again. They feel like you're trying to find your joy. So we also have live in the moment again, and that came up for the last group. Yeah, this person could just feel like you're, you know, you're focused on living in the moment when it comes to your life. Yeah, for some of you, they maybe feel like you're trying to socialize more and kind of put yourself out there. Yeah, they just kind of feel like you're living in the moment at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to pull one last card, okay? So we also have Heart of the Mouth. So for some of you, I'm hearing like this, if there's separation going on between you and this person, they definitely feel as though they want to reach out to you. For some of you, they could want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you or just trying to game gain some sort of understanding between you both you know but yeah that is all i have for you though for those of you who chose this here group i hope it could be helpful in some way i hope it could resonate or not <laughs> um but yeah i'm wishing you all the absolute best all right so please take care of yourselves bye hey there gorgeous people if you chose the third crystal then this reading is for you, okay? So the person on your mind, what are their feelings towards you at this moment? What are their feelings for you?
Okay. okay, so the person on your mind, what are their feelings towards you? are just falling out i don't know should i take these i'll take them okay so what are their feelings towards you first card we have was the page of cups up reversed okay so we have the page of cups reversed and then we have the page of swords upright we have five of pentacles upright and the six of cups reversed. Okay, we'll see what this is like. So what are their feelings towards you? Okay, so at this moment, they could feel as though you can't or that you're holding back on being open with them or they feel as though you can't be open on that, be open with them. I don't know if you guys can hear my notifications, but if you can, I'm really sorry. So they could also feel like there are immature people getting in between your relationship as well or your connection or friendship or relationship, whatever you have with them. They could also feel very protective of you and they could also feel ready to defend you or defend your relationship or they kind of just feel defensive in regards to your relationship. They do feel very sexually attracted to you as well. So for some of you, this person could feel as though you're vulnerable to someone. Like um, for some of you, this could be an earth sign. Or they feel as though you've been made to feel vulnerable by someone that could possibly be an earth sign. But if that doesn't resonate, feel free to like throw that message away. For some of you, this person could feel as though you weren't loved enough, maybe in past relationships or maybe within your childhood as well. And uh, this does hurt them. They could feel as though you're both obsessed with each other or you both were really obsessed with each other. Or you could potentially be quite obsessed with each other. Potentially in a way that could be harmful to one or both of you. Not, not it, it doesn't feel like in like a, I don't want to say not in a bad way, but in a way that could potentially be unhealthy for one or both of you. So this person, they could also feel a desire to seduce you. They could, for some of you, this person could feel as though you may potentially break their heart or you have the potential to break their heart because of how they feel for you. And if it does resonate, they could feel as though they broke your heart. They could also feel like you're very beautiful and like they have a big crush on you. Not to say that it isn't more than a crush though. For some of you, they could feel as though they haven't opened up to you enough yet in regards to the seriousness of their feelings for you or maybe how deep their feelings for you actually run. For some of you, this could be in regards to feeling a detachment towards feelings. They could also feel as though your feelings for them are still developing. If this resonates, they could have feel like you blocked them or you're not being open with them, maybe um, honest with them 
in terms of communication as well. For some of you, maybe they kind of just feel as though you're shutting them out in some way. Or you're kind of closing yourself off to them. Like this person, they feel cautious and it feels like they're in a state of caution. Why could, why could they be in a state of caution? I feel like this state of caution could be in regards to uh, an outside influence to your connection, like an outside person or an outside situation. This person could feel cautious in regards to that, maybe cautious of how this may impact your connection as well. But this person does feel as though they need to speak up or speak out. But they do also feel like they may need to be careful about what they say or how they say it. For some of you, it's because they don't want to come across as aggressive or they don't want to say anything that's not, you know, true. Or for some of you, it's like they may feel like what they have to tell you may be a burden to you as well. So that's why they also want to be careful about what they say and how they say it. But, you know, on a lighter note, they could um, feel like you both have good conversations together or that you, you know, you could have good conversations together. They could also feel ready to take action towards you. Though it may take some time, may take some planning on their side. For some of you, this person, they could think you feel nervous around them and they want you to feel more comfortable. I feel like this person feels a lot of emotion for you, but they're worried about being emotionally overwhelmed. So yeah. Or for some of you, they're worried about emotionally overwhelming you. Or they're worried about you being already feeling that way. For some of you, this person's also worried about saying the wrong thing. Especially if you come across as like kind of a nervous person or this person knows you to be nervous um, or certain things, you know, make you nervous or make you uncomfortable then this person definitely wants to be very careful about what they say to you. For some of you, if it resonates, they could feel as though you are experiencing financial difficulties and that they want to support you in some way. For some of you, it's like this person is saying, if I could, I would, you know. Oh, sorry, give me a second. For some of you, if this resonates for your situation, a part of them could feel as though you're both kind of done for good, especially maybe on your end. For some of you, this person feels like they're leaving you out at the moment or they feel like they have left you out previously.
for some of you this person could feel or think that you're embarrassed about family or tradition Okay, so the lovers came out. For some of you, this person could... Let me see. Okay, so if any of you resonate with being in a relationship, that's not with the person you're asking about. This person you're asking about could feel as though you're embarrassed about that particular relationship but obviously that seems really specific so don't take that message if it doesn't resonate um but yeah so for some of you this person feels as though your connection either has been a struggle or is a struggle at this moment or maybe even it will be maybe a bit challenging moving forward for you both you know if you were to move forward for some of you For some of you, this person could also feel as though they are still immature in some ways or feel like they're still developing in some ways. Or if it resonates, if it's the other way around, then, you know, you can take that message as well if it resonates. Um, but yeah, this person, they could also feel quite lost and insecure in regards to your relationship. This person could also be going through a difficult time in their life. And they may not want to bother you with that, or they, they may not want to stress you out with their own problems. And for some of you, this person could feel more hopeless than hopeful, unfortunately, at the moment. This person could also feel like you give uh, great advice or for some of you, it's that this person feels like they need your advice right now. This person could also feel like you, you know, you taught them to kind of grow up in some way or you help them mature in some way. They could also feel like you or them, them, <laughs> you or they need to let go of things and, you know, people from your past. This could be more so them. Because I do feel for some of you, this person thinks that they're still kind of clinging on to their past in some way. And they could feel like it is impacting the connection. It's almost like instead of, you know, being focused on one direction, there's like this little side road that you may consider taking or something like that. Or that side road that's just still there. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. But they do feel as though when it comes to you, when it comes to your relationship and how they feel about you, they need to kind of go with the flow and, you know, see how it turns out. But this person, it, it feels like they're caught up in overthinking in a way as well. On a lighter note, <laughs> they do feel like you are quite cute, very beautiful and adorable in their eyes. This person could feel real nervous as well in regards to your connection or something about your connection makes them nervous. They could feel like you changed or you, you know, switched up on them in some way. And if you resonate with this person having been, you know, kind of secretive in the past, this person could also feel like they need to stop doing that moving forward. But this person is holding on to their feelings for you, especially if any of you are in separation or, you know, little communication with this person. They could feel, yeah, they're definitely holding on to their feelings for you. But yeah.
Okay, so we have unconventional. So yeah, this person could feel like you're quite unconventional. They feel like you're very unique. You have a lot of beautiful and quirky, <laughs> you know, qualities about you. For some of you, this person could feel like you're different in some way, like maybe different from some people they've dated in the past or, um, you know, different from their usual type in some way, you know, even if you're not asking about a relationship. But for some of you, maybe they kind of just think or they're seeing you differently now. But yeah. So we also have purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. For some of you, this person could feel like you're going through a bit of a purification and detoxification um, process, whether this person kind of just thinks you're, you know, becoming healthier in some way, whether that be mentally, physically, emotionally, um, or maybe, you know, health wise. Um, but yeah, they feel like there's def definitely something about you that is renewing right now. For some of you, this person does feel like they need to kind of follow suit as well but i do feel like they want to talk to you because they may need your advice about something mm. and we also have life-changing epiphany or experience so all their feelings towards me mm. Okay, I feel for some of you, this person kind of feels like you have the potential to change their life in some way. For some of you, maybe you, they feel like you've already done that in a way. Um, but I kind of just get the feeling that this person on some level just feels like you're good for them in some way, you know? So we have self-creation. Okay, this is weird, but only think this if it resonates. But for some of you, the person on your mind feels like they need to start making the rules. I don't know if this is in reference to your connection or reference to something outside of your connection. But yeah, they could feel like they need to start making the rules in some way. So we also have celebrate life. So yeah, this person, they could feel like you make them happy. And then the sun came out to clarify. So, so we have surrender with joy. Achieve greatness through surrender. All right, this is going to sound weird considering the card that came out. <laughs> or maybe not, actually. But for some of you, this person, they feel as though... Okay, if any of you resonate with being in um, a, a separation or, you know, a little communication between this person, then they could feel as though this time apart or, you know, the separation between you both was needed in order to kind of better your connection or, you know, to, to gain some sort of clarity. 
but they feel like it was a good thing or that it needed to happen and we also have listen to advice if this resonates with you as well especially with your intuition then this person feels like they've got really bad advice it may be in regards to you um in regards to your connection in the past and they wish they didn't listen to that advice but for some of you, they also feel like they need your advice or your knowledge in regards to something. But yeah, that is all I have for you, for those of you who chose this group. I hope it could resonate, make sense for you, be helpful maybe in some way. I don't know. But yes, uh, please take care of yourselves, okay? Bye.